keep getting my car dirty. So I'm hoping for some brief rain. Yeah, my, my son told me I needed to wash the car the other day, <laughs> which I was like, no, actually, you're going to wash the car and <laughs> stop all that pollen. That's, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, we do have a lot of pollen out there. You're going to get a chance to have that car washed off from all the pollen, at least, as we go into the overnight hours, because scattered showers are going to lift in, and we already have them trying to push in right now. Rain gear is needed for your Monday. Layers as well. We're going to see chilly 40s. We've got 60s, though, that return on Tuesday, but you didn't notice the cold 30s early morning could create some frosty conditions as well middle of the week. So a couple of features here this week that we need you to pay attention to. One is that we are going to be very wet tomorrow and cold. So kids are heading back to school. If you don't have the holiday off tomorrow, you definitely want to make sure you have those layers and rain jackets. We're going to be cold. It's a long sleeve day. Very different from where we've been today. 72 in Greensboro, 74 in Burlington. 72 is the average this time of the year and 73 officially actually now in Greensboro with 51 for that morning low. Record set back in 1967 at 90 degrees and we got you at 29 back in 1904. I'm just grateful we don't have major extremes right now in either direction. We do have that area of lower pressure stretched out overhead. This is going to be providing some scattered showers for us lifting in overnight. They become heavy though at times and this could be good soaking rainfall that could total one to two inches in spots. Take a look at the showers right now starting to push in from the west. So we're beginning to see some wet stuff build from Tennessee, but we have very dry air here at the surface. So it's going to take a while to get these roads wet, but we do think by tomorrow, your tomorrow morning commute, you're going to be looking at very soggy conditions. Your dew points are in the 30s, so we're still pretty dry. Scattered showers right now trying to work their way down to the ground, and we'll see more of this as we go overnight through early tomorrow morning. So by your commute, very messy. 69 in Rhonda, 60 in Jefferson. You're at 55 in Beach Mountain right now, so comfortable there. 71 in UNCG with 69 in Kernersville. You're starting to back off from those afternoon highs, and you'll see that the scattered showers become more numerous. As we go through 10 and 11 o'clock, we might get a couple pockets trying to lift into the southern foothills, so rain chance as early as later tonight and watch what happens as we go through early tomorrow morning between one and two we get another wave coming up and that wave could drop in some heavy downpours mountains foothills even into the triad at this point we could be looking at good soaking rains totaling those one to two inches here and notice a little wintry mix trying to make its way too into the ground areas but not likely on the roads the roads are simply going to be wet tomorrow and then as the system lifts out by middle of the day even through noon we expect to see some heavy rain, at least in the eastern triad. We're still working out some of those light scattered showers as we head through the late afternoon. Even if it moves out a little earlier, we're still going to have the clouds to thin out. It'll take a little while to start to warm up. We expect 50s possible in the foothills if we can get a little cloud clearing and in the triad only near about 48 degrees. It does expect to be, we do expect to be cooler than what we've been certainly in the last couple of days and your temperatures out there are going to be chilly all the way through your Tuesday morning. We take you down into the upper 30s. We'll watch for patchy frost although the winds are up this morning we expect to see frost more likely on Wednesday morning so frost could be a possibility where we have wind protected areas Tuesday more likely for everyone on Wednesday look at the rainfall totals anywhere from a half an inch working our way up to an inch and a half across parts of the southern Piedmont if not a little bit more so some pockets of locally higher totals around two inches but looking good for a lot of folks in the triad as we take you through your day your temperatures out there from 42 to near 48 degrees in the triad and gusty winds tomorrow out of the north and northeast. We have temperatures at 50 in the foothills and in the mountains from 37 to about 46. It's a chilly day, gusts early and then winds back off late. But still, we're talking about cold mornings and morning frost, a possibility. Hopefully it's our last round on Wednesday morning before those summer like temperatures greet us into the 80s late week.